Hello church family, I hope this message finds you doing well. I'm currently sitting on the back deck of the Daniel household here in beautiful Webster. It is a lovely spring season, isn't it? Even if it's been colder than I think most of us would prefer. But hey, I wanted to reach out to everybody and give you a word of update and a word of encouragement. First is the update. Like many of you, I've done my best to stay on top of the news that's been coming out of the governor's office here in the state of North Carolina. And I wanted to let you know that in light of the recent news, uh, the session of our congregation has made the decision to continue to suspend our worship services and corporate church events through the month of May. Basically, we're gonna have to take all this one month at a time. And in the meantime, we'll continue to nurture the different ways uh, of being church together. What that looks like is Zoom calls and emails and telephone check-ins and of course, worship from home. In light of that, I did wanna offer all of you a word of encouragement because I imagine you're feeling like, like my family's been feeling, uh, that is to say a little bit stir crazy, maybe getting some cabin fever, maybe even getting discouraged about how long it's taking for us to move through this difficult season. So I wanted to share with you this word from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, right at the end of Paul's beautiful chapter on the resurrection of Jesus. He writes this, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Friends, this is an encouragement to me. It's an encouragement to all of us and a reminder to us to stand firm because the risen Christ is with us and he is at work to redeem our lives and indeed to redeem all the world. So I invite you to join me as we study 1 Corinthians 15 over the next few weeks as we meditate on the miracle of the resurrection of Jesus and as we share in life together as a church, even from afar, until the time comes that we can be back together in person soon. Grace and peace. I hope you have a good day, a good week, and a good month ahead.